Hello folks, this is uh, the bay window as installed by Anglian Windows in 2007. <coughs> as you can see it looks quite nice. Nothing wrong with it as such, other than it was never installed correctly. There's no evidence of any fixings, drill holes at all. As you can see from the video, there are no fixings at all. No drill bits, no hidden, there were no hidden catches to uh, catch the uh, ridges on the side to hold the wind in place. Accor not installed according to either fencer or angling installation guidelines. This window should have had one fitting at the bottom here and at least two along the sides and one at the bottom. As you can see there's absolutely no evidence of any fixings at all. All they did was must have taken a good two minutes to just plug it in place, foam it, put silicon sealant around the edges so no one could uh, see what they've done. At all. It was never inspected by either Anglian windows or fencer after the installation was completed and the, insulate and the installer said it was fit for purpose and it met uh, building regulation and installation guidelines by fencer and Anglia. As you can see, it uh, doesn't look as if they even attempted to put any proper fixings in. All they did was stick it in, foam it and apply sealant so over time it's uh, just come away any slight force and it would have uh, fallen out completely. According to Fencer, if you buy windows from any of their official companies associated with them you get peace of mind, building regulations adhere to, in this instance it doesn't look as if they've done anything. If you complain to Fencer or Anglia all they do is uh, give you the run around for a long time and get nowhere. If you follow the instruction as advised by trading standards, like give them a date and time limit to sort the work out, and you full according to the Consumer Act, you're fully entitled to get a third party to install or repair damage and send the bill to Anglia. Fortunately, it doesn't work out in practice. To do this if you follow trading standard advice, you'll need to get expert opinion, reports done, someone who will do repair the board's job, which is nigh impossible. Nobody wants to be associated with uh, trying to solve someone else's board's job. The other thing is, they fail to mention, is that uh, you're on your own. They're not going to assist. In that respect, as other people have already found out to their cost, the only people who can help you in this respect is building control, which uh, Trading Standard conveniently forgot to mention. As uh, Trading Standards don't have the power to do this kind of investigation, I think. The only people who have the real power and authority is building control. Building control 
have the power, the authority, technical expertise to do all the work for you with very little cost. You can, anybody who's had problems with the double glazing company should go directly to them and they can sort the problem out a lot quicker. They can force the companies to adhere to building regulations and do a proper job. Something that fencer doesn't seem too, too keen on doing. As it's outside their remit. So, the moral of the story is, buy a reware. The windows were installed by fencer registered uh, installers. As you can see from this video, they didn't do a very good job. I don't think they were competent or up to the task. Either that or they got some uh, non-registered uh, fencer installers to do the installation. In my case, all the windows were the same. Not installed according to Fencer or Anglian Windows uh, installation guidelines. As my instructor once said to me, if you make a mistake, you're learning. Two is a conspiracy. Three is premeditated, but to get all nine windows uh, done this way is incomprehensible. Either they didn't know what they were doing or haven't a clue. People like you and me, the general public, have no idea how these things are done, how the windows are installed, so we can't understand or, shall I say, figure out why and how it should be installed. We rely on these uh, companies, they're supposed to be the experts, the trained staff, to deal with it. But in my case, they can't have been very competent, trained, or have the necessary skill to do the job. I believe what, I, what was said on the Fencer website that uh, all their companies associated with them are Fencer registered and have competent installers who would install the windows to building regulation standard. In my case, uh, zero. No one inspected it, the windows after the installation. They just signed off and said it was met all the requirements, regulations, building control, etc. And that was it. So, as I say, buyer beware when you're dealing with Anglia. Anybody who's had Anglian windows should. Uh, have building control come along and inspect their work just to verify that it meets building regulations you don't want to find out like me uh, by accident a few years down the road when there's no comebacks no record and everybody's forgotten about it in my case uh, Anglian didn't inspect it Fencer didn't inspect it and the, all the windows were like this, just plonked into place, silicon, and that was it. End finito. As long as there was nobody there to come along and inspect it. So if you got windows done by Anglia, better to get windows checked out by building control to avoid the same problem. Works out more expensive if you don't. Any comments, uh, leave them on the video. Or uh, better luck uh, than me. Bye.